what is the difference between a print disability and a learning disability? You're all familiar with learning disabilities and all sorts of things. But there's something very different about the word print disability. So we're sort of big for this, but let me just see if someone would venture a, what's so important and what's so different about this new term print disabilities that's very different than learning disabilities, emotional disabilities, any of those kinds of things. What's the big change? Anybody? I know it's a big audience and it's way in the back. Great. Can you shout? Great. Perfect. It puts the medium as part of the disability and points to the medium and says, hmm, print is part of what's going on here. And I forget the second part of your sentence. And well, say it again, your second part. Right. Rather than the internal. It says it's not in the kid. It's in the interaction between the kid and something else, print. In this regard, it's much more like allergies, okay? That it's something between you and ragweed uh, or dust or whatever. And, uh, but it's a very different concept to say you have ragweed because then it, I mean, so, so say you have allergies because there's, there's two things you can do. One is you can treat the internal condition sometimes. The other is to get rid of the ragweed or the dust or whatever it is, okay? And uh, this is what this change is about, to say, you know what? Print can be an allergen. There are some kids for whom print is not a good medium at all. And rather than say they have an internal problem, they have a problem in their, the way they relate to the environment of print, okay? A big change. Um, and I think it's the beginning of uh, a whole lot of changes, which are universal design changes, which are to say, instead of locating disabilities in the kid, per se, we start to locate disability in the interaction between kids and their learning environments. Print, in the next three days, will often be the boogeyman for instructional materials that are not well designed. New media can be just as badly designed. There's nothing magical about digital media. They can be just as inaccessible and so on. But there's great potential in digital media that we don't have in print to overcome those disabilities of the medium. But um, those changes are now rapidly happening in the United States. The realization that we need to make materials that work for everybody instead of materials that work for some kids and then calling the others disabled. Okay, is everybody with me on that? So it's a, it's a big C, a small but big C change. It says the medium of instruction may be where the disability is. And in fact, our talks now, we typically go around talking about the disabilities of the various media of instruction. And we'll have reason to do that over the next three days. What are the disabilities in my curriculum?